Hey folks, Dr. Bob McCauley. Thought I'd make a short video on this uh, raw food vegan um, who killed herself by eating only raw fruits and vegetables. And that's the story. There are so many people out there that are just so, they're so against veganism and, and, and they just want to eat meat. And they think this is a ideological war or something like that. And these people that don't want to eat meat, and I'm going to eat my meat. And, you know, as I've said 1,000 times before, I could care less what you do. Um, doesn't matter to me. You're not putting it in my body um, when you eat something. So when when somebody smokes, we all smoke because we got to breathe it in. But when you eat a burger, you're not putting it in my face, and I don't care. I always say, know the force, uh, source of your food. But this uh, Zana Dart was her name. She's from Russia. That's what she went by. It was Sansova, Sansonova, something like that. And Zana was the first name. So you look there, she's a very attractive woman, and then she kind of started eating herself and becoming emaciated. So we don't know what the backstory is of this woman. That's the point. You don't know who she, what she, you don't know what her diet was. So she was on a diet of just a couple of fruits, um, you know, some sunflower sprouts, and that's it. Um, and you know, can you live on that? Well, you can. Li people live on McDonald's, literally. So you can live on a lot of things and get away with it. But did she have an, she just became totally emaciated and then that's what killed her. Well, we don't know what killed her because her mother said she died of cholera. Well, it's an infectious disease. And if you break your immune system down by eating fruit and only a couple different types of fruit like durian and a few others, then you're not, you know, I, something I wouldn't recommend you do. Um, you got to get protein. You got to have protein. Now, where do you get protein? Well, you get it from. I just wrote this book on spirulina and chlorella. That's my 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 latest book. Now, I wrote a whole book on two foods. These are the kings of all superfoods. And you know, here's here's my life. All you got to do is, you know, have these. I've been a vegetarian now, um, going on 44 years this year. And as you can see, I'm falling apart. You know, at 66 years old, I, I can just barely run a six-minute mile anymore. Can you imagine six-minute mile? There's guys that have never run a six-minute mile in their entire life. Um, you know, I was a really great runner when I was in high school, college. I ran a 425 mile. And um, I can still run six-minute mile because I choose to do that. But it just shows you the idea of your body breaking down. If you're taking spirulina and chlorella, you're not going to have a problem. I mean, you know, and again, did this, did this woman here have an eating disorder? Because it kind of looks like it to me. When you just become emaciated like that and you let that happen, I mean, there's something wrong, I would say, psychologically. But they also said in the coroner's report that she died of a heart attack. She had heart problems. Well, again, um, you know, you have to have a broad array of, of nutrients in your diet. But the whole point here, what people are saying is that, um, she became a vegan, and she was a fruitarian. Well, I don't recommend fruitarian. I eat a lot of fruit. I eat it during the daytime, but never at night. Uh, I mean, I just I have salad at night. So, um, and I but when I take I do eat fruit, um, I take spirulina and chlorella with it. So I'm always getting my protein. You don't need a lot. You only need a small handful, just like that. Just ten or twelve of these little tablets, and that's all you, the protein you need for that meal. And um, you can't eat too much of it. You could survive on these foods. Talk about surviving on something. You could survive on these foods exclusively. These are the two healthiest foods in the world. And you'd have all your basic nutrients. So um, do you ever hear anybody in the meat world or in the, uh, in the animal world or any of these people that promote a carnivore diet, Dr. Sean Baker, any of these people ever even talk about this? No, no, no. It's got to be meat. And there's so many nutrients in, in animals that we just can't get in the plant world. That's what we're told. Well, that's a lie. That's a, that's a flat-out lie. There's actually, uh, you can get everything in the plant world that you can get in the animal world. Because where are they getting their, their nutrients? They're just, animals are, they're not creating new nutrients, really. I mean, you know, they take B12. So B12 is, is, comes from an animal. Well, no, it comes from, um, it comes from cobalt, cobalt um, not cobalt, but cobalt. And, um, and then you're a bacteria, so a probiotic. That's how you make vitamin B12. And so what happens, the animal does, has this, it creates it in its body, and then it accumulates it, and then you eat the meat, and then you get the B12. So that sounds like a middleman to me, because you can take cobalt, I've got some right here, take cobalt, and um, you can take a probiotic, bacteria, and take them at the same time, and you're gonna make, my, my B12 is fine, by the way. I have it measured like once a year. 
and it's always right exactly where it should be. And as a matter of fact, it's way, way nice. I should take that back. It's, it's off the charts because, um, I mean, it's really, really high. I don't have the tests in front of me, but, but it just gives you the idea. I don't eat meat. I don't eat meat, fish, eggs, or dairy. I'm a vegan. I got all my, all my B vitamins are fine. I'm full of energy. I run a six-minute mile. I worked out last night very hard. I work out 25, 30 minutes about five days a week. And uh, most guys my age couldn't even begin to do what I do. And, um, but it just shows you, and I'm on a vegetarian diet or a vegan diet or whatever you want to call it, a vegan diet, I guess. And, you know, and as I said, uh, you know, 25 years of vegan and then like 44 years now for a vegetarian. But they use someone like this to show us that, oh, my, you know, you live on this kind of a diet, you're going to die. Well, when you live on just fruit and nothing else, you're going to um, develop some really big deficiencies because fruit, you know, it's, it, you know, some of some fruit, some like pomegranate, for example, or like avocado. These are really nutritionally dense foods, and they're really good for you. Should you live on them exclusively? Well, y you can as long as you're taking spirulina and chlorella. So it doesn't matter the type of raw foods, that, you know, as much as making sure that they're raw, and then making sure you get spirulina and chlorella with them because they get the protein. I don't recommend soy. So I, want, I would recommend you stay away from that. That's a really bad food. I never, and we have the raw food diet being, you know, this, this really, really exotic, extreme diet called the raw food diet. Well, it's the only healthy diet out there is the raw food diet, raw foods and vegetables. It's the diet that all the animals in the wild live on, and you don't see any evidence of chronic disease of, in, in the wild, period. It's another thing I've said a thousand times. It's in all my books. I wrote a book on how to cure yourself naturally of cancer, and um, I put it in the book. And of course, and this woman never drank water. Oh well, we're getting to re real reason. Did she take probiotics? I didn't hear anything about that. Um, digestive enzymes. Uh, did, would, did she exercise on a regular basis, vigorously every single day, like I recommend? Um, she didn't drink water. That's the most important thing for you. She never never consumed water. She hadn't drank water in many many years, according to the report. And yet they point to somebody like this because she had this, she was an influencer, I think, on Instagram or something. I never really have heard of her until I saw her name mentioned. But I saw it mentioned by these people that are, you know, you know, just hate vegans and hate, you know, just want to disprove the vegan lifestyle and say that everybody's really extreme. Well, if you want to see extreme, do you ever see obese people in a supermarket right around in their little carts? And they just have a mountain of food in, on their, in their baskets. Maybe a little tiny thing of banana. There's nothing in there. It's all processed food. It's all boxes and jars and cans of food. And uh, it's like, you know, and they're already obese. And, the, you know, and does anybody blame the food on that? These are food addicts. Okay? I mean, if you're a heroin addict, well, you, you know, or, or co you're addicted to cocaine, something like that, you know, you end up out on the street, you lose your job. You can't, you know, you can't function anymore. But a food addict, they can function and they get bigger and bigger and bigger and they become more and more obese. They're trying to tell us now that this is really beautiful to have, see obesity. Obesity is not healthy. You shouldn't encourage that kind of a lifestyle. Um, and I, you know, so they're food addicts and they can't stop eating. And nobody says that's unhealthy. No, they just go, go ahead and eat what, as long as you're on a Unless you're on a vegan diet, because then, then you're going to hurt yourself and you're going to die. That's the whole point here. So I want to just stand up one more time for the raw food diet, and, um, and it's the diet that I live on. And if you do it the right way, and you put, if you drink alkaline ionized water, which I wrote a whole, that's my best-selling book, right? The Miraculous Properties of Ionized Water. Please buy my books. Um, they're on Amazon. They're on Audible. Um, they're on my website. Uh, drbobmacaulay.com, watershed.net. They're all over the place. You can get them. I have my own book, uh, my own author's page, bobmacaulaybooks.com. So you get them all there, and they all talk about kind of the same things in different ways. Alkaline ionized water, spirulina and chlorella, raw fruits and vegetables, that's number three, probiotics and prebiotics. Okay, staying mineralized. There's my full-spectrum mineral here. I do liquid angstrom minerals. Um, and there's other things too, but let's not get distracted. Um, vigorous da daily exercise, positive mental attitude. Um, that's, those are the things that this woman didn't have, and so she became emaciated. I think it's an eating disorder, you know, that led to these other health problems. Um, and so she had kids and everything. 
and you could see, see her wasting away. It's very sad. So, but you're going to blame that on on a the, on this this extreme raw food vegan diet? Yeah, it's not extreme. It, the way they paint it is really terrible. And like I said, all I care about is when I come onto my YouTube channel is one thing: health. I don't care about anything else. It's not about being right. It's about telling you the truth about health. And you'll find very few people that know more about health than Dr. Bob. Okay, I stand behind the words that I say, and um, and all the books that I've written. When you write a book, you know it's really something like set in stone about it because you you look at any page in my book and you could take a okay. Do you still stand behind this? And you have to say, well, no, gee, I changed all my mind. I was wrong then. Well, I haven't changed my mind about anything. I'm very careful about what I've written. I've, and uh, again, you can get them all on Audible if you want to listen to these books. I'm very careful about the videos that I put out. And this woman is is not the picture of health, and it's not she's not what you should be doing on a raw food uh, diet, and and um, and she should be dismissed. Well, she's she's passed away now, but this kind of you know dismissed in the sense that yeah she was eating raw fruits and vegetables not taking spirulina and chlorella and not not exercising it looks like not uh, drinking water you know you wonder why she got sick that's gonna that's gonna happen but if somebody would have done this on a cooked food diet you you would never heard a word about it all disease comes from our diet and none of it not any disease comes from our genes and um, you know that's what they want us to believe because that's what the medical establishment believes itself. That's what they're taught in medical school. Just a reminder, doctors, medical doctors, know nothing about health. Nothing. The ones that you see out there, like Dr. Gundry, Mercola, they learned all everything they know about health by doing from guys like me. And for the health guys and people who write books like me. And and, and that's fine. I, I'm not against them or anything, but just quit telling me that they learned that in medical school. Because they didn't. They don't have nutrition classes. Are you going to tell me they have maybe one or two hours? No, no nutrition classes at all. That's right. That's the average doctor has nothing, and and they know nothing. So everything they learn is outside of medical school. The same way that I learned all of it. Now, I've been doing this for many many years. I've written, I mean, I've written all these books. I've read countless books. I've seen countless videos. You got to, you know, it's, you know, I just understand the human body really well and how it functions and how you can stay healthy. Very few people will do what I do, but, you know, they can't run six minute mile at my age. All my friends, none of them do what I do. And all of them, I mean, they're in their 60s, you know, we're all like getting old. And I mean, they, they, they can't work anymore. They, they're, they're all arthritic. Um, you know, they can't, I mean, they're, they're builders, you know, they, these guys built houses and, and pole barns and they're just great at doing that stuff. That's not me. I can't, I can, I know what a hammer looks like and I know how to use it, but that's about it. But these guys are built, but they can't do anymore. They're winding down and it's, um, you know, it's kind of, to me, kind of sad to see them go because they were my crew. I could always depend on them to build everything and they can't do it anymore. So. Anyway, that's what happens to you. But you don't get old and sick and die. You live on the wrong foods, and then you get sick and you die. And age is just irrelevant. You know, I've said it a thousand times. I'm not going to die of a disease. I'm going to die. I'm not interested in living forever like these billionaires and these oligarchs, you know, and, you know, transitioning into some kind of a robot, you know, or whatever. And I'm, it sounds hideous. I'm going to I'm going to die of an of an accident or an assassination or murder um and um <clears throat> never suicide bad mistake don't do that and um but I'm not going to die of a disease that uh, that I can say for sure Dr. Bob stay on a raw food diet that's the healthiest diet okay I'll see you guys next time